welcome everybody. If you're watching this on replay, type hashtag replay. And I know you've seen it. Changed my setup around a little bit more again tonight. Just going to share this. Give me a second while I'm waiting for everybody to come in. Uh, just want to make sure I'm not sharing to the same groups all the time. They might get mad at me. Sure you're saying hello Please when you come in. Hey, Lysandra. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Shandell. Did you guys make it home yet? <laughs> I know, stupid question, right? Okay. So tonight we're going to do some inking on some wine glasses. At first I thought maybe I would do um, the hibiscus again to match the dessert dishes that I did. But then I started thinking, do I want it the same? It would look really good on a dinner table though, wouldn't it? Yeah, I thought you were. How's Haley been? Good? I really need to figure out how to resolve this delay because I've got about a 30 second delay. So if you guys are writing comments, I'm not seeing them right away. <coughs> Excuse me, it's really frustrating. Oh, good. Okay, so um, as usual, we're going to uh, do a draw tonight. So make sure you're sharing the video and commenting, asking questions. The more interactive you are, um, the better your chances are. Hey, Karen. Hey, Brian. Okay, so I was saying I was thinking of doing the hibiscus in the gold glitter like the dishes or um, surf and sand this one might be a little bit trickier to get on here because the glass it's not one of the big wine glasses it's a little bit smaller but I think it would look really cool and then with that I was thinking of doing <clears throat> gray on the top half and then um, papaya on the bottom and making kind of ombre. Now I've never done that with ink but I am willing to try anything. I got my water bath right beside me so I can wash them off right away um, and work on the next one. So what to do, what to do. Should I make it match the dessert dishes with the hibiscus or the surf and sand? Yeah, Karen's already saying surf and sand. Yeah. See, I have it all set up to do the surf and sand. It was kind of like a... Conf I needed that confirmation. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do um, to prep the glasses... What do you mean, no? You don't want me to do the surf and sand, or you do? Okay. <laughs> All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I need to prep. They've already been washed, but now I want to 
uh, clean, make sure that there's no fingerprints or any oil on it. So I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol and just put some on my uh, paper towel and rub it across the area. That will take any grease off because the grease will actually stop the ink from sticking to the glass. So we'll do that with each one. And just a little bit, just want to clean that area. It's so quiet here now. We had a house with 10 people in it. And this morning at nine o'clock, the last of our kids left. So it's been a really quiet day. After a couple of weeks of having company here, pretty much the whole time other than one day. Kind of strange. And Glenn left this morning at four. So it's just me and JJ. Okay, so that has been cleaned off. Hey, Cindy. Yes, I miss you guys. It's so quiet here. Okay, so now I've just got a, a tea towel that I folded up just to cradle the glass a bit. And it's a little bit bottom heavy. Now I am going to fuzz the towel or the uh, transfer and because it's glass and I don't want it to stick to the glass, especially with the ink. Um, ink stays wet a lot longer than the chalk paste and it would end up splashing and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna peel it off the backer sheet and fuzz it really well. All right, and then I'm gonna line it up. Now I think I'm gonna put it a little bit up towards the top of the glass because it is so big. And make sure it's straight. And I'm gonna go from the center out to smooth it and get out any air bubbles that I might have. All right, so that side is done. And just rub your finger along, along this uh, the silk screen area. If there's wrinkles or bubbles up in the teal area here, it doesn't matter because as long as you're, you've got a good adhesion, as long as it's adhered really well to the glass where the silk screen area is, then you're good. So anything up above, which is gonna happen because we're putting this on a curved surface, it's gonna have a couple of wrinkles. Smooth that out. This takes a little bit longer to put on than if we were doing it on a flat surface. I think it's going to look really good. Okay, so I've got it on there now. I'm going to get my ink ready. So this is the Chalkology ink. Um, all the ink has the white caps on it, whereas the chalk paste has the black. So if you pick one up and you kind of look down, you'll know um, if you've got the ink or the paste. This is a brand new one. I'm just gonna take the lid off here. Looks like it was upside down for a bit. Get all that excess ink off the lid. And throw that in the garbage. Now I want to make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers. And then just do another double check. That I don't have air bubbles. All right, I'm gonna do the bottom 
with the papaya and the top with storm. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom half. Actually, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my multi-tool. I thought I had two. So I'm just going to take some and put it on the multi-tool. And then across. Sorry for the, uh, the pinging. Somebody's sending me a text message. All right, so I'm just going across and I'll show you as soon as I get this on. Now you have a lot longer time with the ink than with the chalk paste. It's a little more forgiving with the drying time. Okay, so I put it almost halfway so that um, I can put the same amount of gray on and then I can blend the two together. So I'm just going to clean this off. Just using a Clorox wipe. Dip it into the gray, do the same thing. Now, I've actually been thinking about my camera setup and wondering what you guys think. If you would rather see the projects from above or you'd rather see it the way it is right now with me and the project. So I'm kind of doing a little poll on that. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of the gray and a little bit of the papaya. And now I'm going to use a mini squeegee and just drag it across. Now I have to use another one because if I turn it, it's going to be the opposite colors. Just about done. I want to make sure that I've got it all the way through the silk screen area. Get it covered really well. All right, I got a little bit off to the side here, but I can wipe that off. Now I'm going to pull this from the side straight up. Because the ink stays wet longer, there's more of a chance that it's going to splash. And I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put that in the water bath. Because I want to use a clean transfer every time so that I get the same effect. I don't know if you guys can see that, kind of. Oh, how long is delivery? Um, it depends. Sometimes you can get it within a week, other times it takes two weeks. It just depends. Um, sometimes they use um, DHL, sometimes they use UPS. Sometimes they use Canada Post, depending on what you're ordering, Chandel. Um, this is Papaya and Storm, Karen, in the ink. Were you guys able to see it when I held it up? Now I have to wait again for 30 seconds for my comments to catch up. So I'm just going to dry this. Hi, Mom. You got it this time. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see 
on the video, but I will post pictures after. You can see what it looks like. So I've got one dry here. Now I'm going to wash off my transfer. And I've just got a, a dish pan bin from the dollar store that I cleaned my transfers in. So I'm going over it with a Lysol wipe or a Clorox wipe. And then the back. And then I'm going to use a blow dryer on a cool setting just to dry the transfer quickly and it doesn't take very long at all. So I'm just going to pick that up. And I'm going to fuzz it again because now the back side is sticky. And get the next glass ready. Thank you for having us over. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really good. Okay, now the tricky part, to line it up the same as the first one. All right, I think that was about where I had it. Again, you're gonna start from the middle and then smooth it out. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Get that attached to the glass. And then you can pick it up and move it a bit if it looks too crooked and straighten it out. Like I said, the wrinkles in the area that's not silk screen is okay. You just don't want the bubbles in the silk screen area. I'll lift that up. Okay, now we're ready to go on number two. And we're doing the papaya on the bottom and storm on the top. I was originally going to do teal and storm, but then it was like, yeah, no, you know, sand, water but I like this orange better with the gray. Okay. So just a little bit, about halfway. All the way across. I think I might have had an air bubble in there. Right in the S. That's okay. We can wipe it off. As long as it's not dried, it's not permanent. And now the gray. So what are your thoughts, guys? Should I try doing um, tomorrow night's live? facing down on the project, or what do you think? And we got another air bubble. Hoping that that went through. Okay, that one was a little easier. Now I've got two colors on my squeegee. I'm not able to put this back. If it was just one color, I could put it back in the container. But because it's mixed, I don't want to contaminate either one of those colors. All right, let's see what happened with the D.
Okay, so I'm going to show you. It wasn't all the way down here, so it bled out um, from the silk screen area. I had a big air bubble there. So I'm going to use a Q-tip, and I'm going to clean that area off. And I'm just using cosmetic Q-tips because they have a pointy end on them, and it makes it much easier to clean off. So that was actually quite the mess on this one. So it's really important to make sure that you've got your silk screen down. So we'll just clean that off. And I can go over it after with some rubbing alcohol and get it nice clean lines. Just a little bit of a smudge of ink, but you can see, maybe if I put this aside, you can see how that's still got a little bit of a smudge, but it's easy enough to clean it off when something like that happens. And it's important to use a clean, clean part of the Q-tip. So otherwise, all you're doing is smudging it even more. That's not good. Okay, so there's number two. And then once I'm done, all four of them, I'll just put them on a, I've got a little tiny cookie sheet that I use. I'll put them on the cookie sheet and then I'll um, put them in a cold oven 350 degrees, put them in there, turn the oven on, and then leave them for 30 minutes. Set a timer for 30 minutes. When the timer goes off, you're going to turn the oven off and leave it in there until the oven is cool. And they'll be ready. They'll be dishwasher safe. You can wash them however you want. Thanks, Elizabeth. I should try what? Oh yeah, try the uh, the camera angle. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I will. You just won't see me talking to you. You'll just see my hands working, but at least you'd be able to actually see the project. So I think that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow night. So that is tonight's project. Um, tomorrow night, I think I'm gonna be doing another ink project. Uh, what's tomorrow? Wednesday. Thursday. I might. What am I doing Thursday? I think I'm going to do another piece of wall art on Thursday. But I've got some more transfers coming this week, so it all depends on when they get here. If I get a really cool one, that might change my mind. I might decide to do something different. So I think that <coughs> is about it. Uh, just checking my notes here. If you're interested in the VIP group, type hashtag VIP and I'll get you the link for that. Um, if you'd like more information on hosting a workshop and the benefits of that, type hashtag host and I can get you that information and it can be um, a Facebook party or an in-home party. Um, virtual parties are really big right now. I would send you all the supplies that you need. You could have a few people over or everybody could be sitting in their own house doing it while I'm doing the same project live. So that's another option. Uh, we have Club Couture. If I get my Club Couture tomorrow, I might do that instead of the ink project because it's super cute. It's a hedgehog. Um, so if you're interested in Club Couture, type hashtag club and I'll get you that information. If you'd like information on uh, Chalk Couture, the opportunity that it has, type hashtag biz and I will um, invite you into the opportunity group where there's tons of information. Hey Joanne, you just missed it, I just finished. 
So that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I'll do a draw in a little bit for everybody that shared the video and commented. So I will see you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Have a great night, you guys. I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.